Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my YouTube training videos. Today I want to give you an introduction to a new tool I've been playing with called Scythe, which is a dashboard and reporting tool for all of the different online accounts and tools that you manage. Now, to give you a bit of context or um, kind of to outline the problem around this, uh, this idea is well, I think firstly, one of the best things about running an online business or being a marketer in this day and age is just how much data and information we have available to us to make better decisions about our business. So for example, with my business, I have Google Analytics and I can use that to see how much traffic to my website I'm getting and where that traffic's coming from. I've got MailChimp and I can see how many people are clicking and opening and purchasing as a result of my emails. I've got Stripe and PayPal and my, all my e-commerce data and I can see what's being purchased. I've got YouTube and Twitter, which are my main social accounts, and I can see all of the metrics around my uh, what type of engagement I'm getting and responses and reactions to my videos. And I've even got Pipedrive, you know, my sales CRM where I'm managing consulting prospects, and I can see I've got loads of information there around activities that I'm completing and deals that I'm winning and losing. So the list goes on. Uh, we really are spoiled when it comes to information, but that's one of the challenges, I think, as well, because uh, in building my business, I personally find it hard sometimes to actually just sit down and make sense of all this information that we have, um, unless you're making it well, I think it's it's quite hard to get into that habit of looking at, you know, your pipe drive stats and your YouTube stats and going through Google Analytics. There's just so much information. It's a little bit overwhelming. So this is where a platform like Scythe, I think, is really powerful. So to explain what this tool is, Scythe is a dashboard tool. And what you can do is connect your various internet accounts to it, and it will pull in all of this information and make reporting really easy. And so it's just great so you can work out, OK, what are the main metrics or key performance indicators, KPIs, that I want to pay attention to and track. You can add them to a dashboard. And then this is a screen you can have open or check in with a couple of times a week. And you can really just get those quick snapshots of information, those quick stats of the things that you really care about. So here I am inside Scythe. You can see I'm rocking the really nice dark mode here. Now you can switch to light mode as well, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with dark. And I'm just on my overview dashboard here, but you can customize multiple dashboards. So I could have an e-commerce dashboard with all of my e-commerce statistics. I've got a social media dashboard as well. Um, this is just my overview where I've got kind of the, the main things um, that I'm interested in. So some of the some of the widgets here, these these blocks, these are called widgets. So for example, I've got pipe drive up here. I can see how many deals and contacts are being created. And what you can actually see here, this green dotted line, this represents a goal that I have. So this is a really nice little feature. So if I click on the goals setting here, you can see I've actually set a daily goal, which is I want two new leads or deals uh, to come in every single day. And so, uh, yeah, Scythe makes it really easy to actually not just track how you're doing, but actually set goals and see how you're measuring towards those, those KPIs. So I've actually got that on YouTube as well. I have a goal here for a certain number of views that I want every single day. Another little feature worth pointing out is the widget alerts. So for example, uh, maybe there's a certain milestone you're trying to hit. Um, I could then set up a, an alert. So maybe I'm interested in subscribers you know, greater than 10,000. So when I get 10,000, I'm gonna get an email from Scythe saying you know, you've reached that number. So those custom alerts are really nice. Again, maybe you wanna set a, an alert on the downside, like if a certain metric it goes below a certain number you want to know about it um, so there's YouTube like you know there's an example of my social account I've actually got a little Twitter feed down here as well I've connected things like my Google AdWords so I can see how much I'm spending actually that's a great one just last month I because I wasn't checking my Google AdWords I was overspending and I didn't even realize and so it's really nice having this number right in front of me and keep an eye on that marketing spend. Um, I've got things like my top traffic sources I can scroll through here. Um, I've even got a Google trend for a keyword that I'm interested in. And I've got um, some other Google Analytics data up here about where my traffic's coming from. So you can see there's a lot of information here. Um, if I just bring up the new uh, ad widget panel, you'll see the kinds of integrations that are available. So for things advertising, you've got Google AdWords, you've got CoolRail, um, email, you've got all the typical email services you do, you'd expect like MailChimp. Actually, I think Gmail is a really good one. If you want to keep on top of like maybe your own productivity or maybe you use Gmail for like customer service, you could be tracking emails. You know, sales tools like HubSpot, Eventbrite, PayPal, or Pipedrive, which I use, Salesforce, Stripe. Uh, if you can even connect your accounting software like Xero, for example, if you want to be tracking um, those, those important income and uh, expenses. You could have an accounting dashboard. There's all sorts of SEO tools you can connect, the social media accounts, um, and different web analytics services. So 
no matter what you use, chances are Scythe uh, supports it. <clears throat> a couple of other things worth pointing out. Um, you can change the background. You can create public URLs as well. So if you want to share a dashboard with someone, maybe a manager or even a customer or a client, you can actually create a shareable URL. Uh, and it's sort of like a nice read-only URL. They can't edit your dashboard. They can just look at it and keep an eye on it. And there is the TV boat as well. I won't turn that on just because I'm recording. But if you want, I've worked with clients before where they want to create dashboards and actually have big metrics and dashboards up on the wall in their office. So if you want to mount a display, you could actually have TV mode enabled and have these nice big dashboards for everyone in the office to see and make sure you know they're keeping on top of those different KPIs and things. So there we are. There is a little look into Scythe. Um, yeah, I really have to say that since just starting to look at it a couple of times a week, it's really helped me to just be a lot more aware of what's going on. Because before I just was not making the time to look at my data. Uh, and now, um, just like I said with the Google AdWords, it really does help me to just know, know what's going on. And, and it makes me feel calmer, actually feeling like now I'm on top of my, my information and my, my stats a little bit. So thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. And thanks very much for watching.